are gathered here today in the sight of God in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. You see, marriage is the joining of two lives, the physical and emotional union of two people who have separate families and history, separate tragedies, separate destinies, two individuals, each of whom have a life-shaping past, willingly choosing to set aside the solitary journey of themselves to discover who they are in the presence of one another. And so it's with reverence, profound reverence, with great joy, that we gather together today in front of Almighty God and these witnesses to affirm and celebrate the love and faith of Patrick and Jordan. I, Patrick, I Jordan, take you, Patrick, Jordan, to be my lawfully wedded husband, knowing in my heart that you will be my constant friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. On this special and holy day, I give to you my sacred promise to stay by your side as your faithful wi wife, wife, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in sickness and in health, in joy and sorrow, through the good times and the bad. I promise to love you without reservation, to honor and respect you, I encourage you to achieve all your goals, protect you from harm, laugh with you, cry with you, grow, grow with you in mind and spirit. spirit, cheer for you from the stand. Oh! <laughs> Cherish you for as long as we both shall live. So Patrick and George, in Christ, the two of you have now become one. And now by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Now for the main guest of honor, let's give a warm welcome to the hearts as they appear to us for the very first time here or anywhere else for that matter as husband and wife. Please put your hands together, make some noise for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Bazika. Hey guys, I'm sure you guys know Patrick, baseball guy through and through, those watching. Love talking, love playing. Hell, he probably sleeps with baseballs. <laughs> and I never thought he could love someone as much as he loved baseball, but now I'm Jordan. Mr. and Mrs. Mika, make tomorrow better than today and make the next day better than tomorrow so that decades from now you won't have to settle for remembering the happiest day of your life because you'll be too busy living. 